All right. All right. We're live. I think we're live. Can everyone hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? How are we looking? How are we looking over there? Let's go. Let's get into it. All right, all right. Yes, dude, I am Patrick Bateman with the flow, dude. Patrick Bateman with the flow. All right. Tiny Top Hats, thank you. Super Saiyan Yankee Boy, what's happening? How we doing? We're looking good. Let a few people uh let a few people get in here right now. See what's happening. All right, all right. We got the Orbital for good luck here, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, check out that Orbital. All right. Systems are a go. That's what I like to hear. This Orbital right here, this will bring us good fortune tonight. Very special card. Just kidding. That's for uh, some unknown collector content. Yeah, get it out. We don't want it. Get it out. All right, we're going to get started in a couple minutes here. We are going to get started. We got the first bag ready to go. Right here. All these guys are already sold for. They're already spoken for. Um, we only got one box tonight, but we're definitely going to have more. Um, Orbital trash. Yeah, Orbital is trash. That is facts. I put that on everything I love. That is trash. Orbital trash. Let go, Master Tilt six nine six nine. What's happening? How we doing? How we doing? Order me, order me. We'll order you up. We'll order you up some hits, Steve S. Chris Bopper, in all caps. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. We're going to start in just a couple minutes here. Tiny Top Hats. Yeah, I'll say the name of the person whose packs it is. I also wrote them on the, on the bag, so you'll see. So your packs will have your name on the bag. Or your, na your name will be on the bag with your packs in it. How many packs we got, Master Tilt? We got 36. We got a full booster box. We got a full booster box coming in hot. These have already been, guys, all these packs have already been pre-shuffled. I went in and, and I shuffled these as well as I could to make it, give everyone a good opportunity. And first up, we got Michael O. We're going to start in just a minute here. 735, we're probably going to get it going. Yeah, don't worry, Tiny Top Hats. Yours will have your name on it, man. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. Seven thirty four, guys. We're gonna get started in just a second. Oh, seven thirty five. Let's get into it. All right. Now we got four packs for my man Michael O. Michael O. Coming in hot. Four packs. Let's get that heat going, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All the normal stuff that any YouTuber would tell you to do. You know the spiel. Like, subscribe, comment. Down below. Scat in the chat. Absolutely. TL, my man. We got your packs. We got your packs in here. We did do these in order of purchase. So you will, everyone will come up, obviously. Um... But we're going to get started. Michael O's packs starting off fresh. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting it off. Hot and heavy, boys. Without further ado. Rip this bad boy open. I opened a little bit of this set, uh, set myself last night, and I got to say, pretty awesome. 
Ooh, here we go. We got a code card. Green code card. So that's the one thing I do got to say about Pokemon is like, man, I wish they didn't, uh, I wish they didn't do the code card thing. I hate it. I hate it. Anyways, Energy Recycler. I'm going to go a little bit slow on these first couple packs because I do really like how these look. Um, Energy Recycler. I feel like that's probably good in the game, but I'm still a noob at the game, so I don't know. Could be trash. Could be trash. We got a Golbat coming in hot. He's looking hungry. Bisharp. Preparing for battle. Um, then we got a uh, Patra Rasu. Looking a little angry. Our first single strike card of the night, to pig. To pig, I actually like that artwork. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bronzar, a little plain looking, but all right, we'll take it. Uh, Spoink, big Spoink, big Spoink coming in hot. Gilgar, flying high. Bronzong, Bronzong reverse Hollow, very nice. I don't know any really any of these Pokemon. So, uh, Electrive, look at that. That's really nice. Evolves from Electabuzz. Electabuzz is very slept on. Very slept on. Anyways, we'll get into the next pack for Michael L. You hate to see the green code card. You do hate to see it. It's not like Vivid, right? It's not like Vivid Voltage where, um, you know, the green code card, you can still get some heat. But we'll keep it moving. We will keep it moving. Get into the next pack here, guys. Ooh, another green code card. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. But I got boppied. Yeah, well, hey, you still got two more packs left, my guy. Don't worry. Indeedy. Gill score. Jumping off a building. Golbat. Hungry. Uh, Corfish. Uh, he has no idea what to do. He's putting his hands up. Timber. Building the house. Uh, Baltoy. He's running through the forest. Probably going to trip. Uh... Sizzlepeed, I actually really like that. Kind of just simple. Very tasteful. Very tasteful artwork. I like that. Uh, Mankey ready for a fight. Single strike. Bellsprout. Bellsprout looking a little promiscuous right there. We'll allow it. Uh, and Claydol. Um, making me a little dizzy. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Manifesting that royal energy. Absolutely, Boston. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I think I did show the first two code cards and numbers, but I am going to give you guys your code cards, uh, obviously, if you play the game. So I'll try not to show them anymore, like I just did. Uh, I'll try to block that. Another green code card for Michael O. Another green code card. Well, hopefully we get a white one for you, Mikey. All right. Girder coming in hot. By the way, guys, uh, we get a white code card. We're doing a trademark uh, seller move uh, called the horse race. And uh, you'll see what happens when we get our first white. You'll see. Urn of Vitality, Energy Recycler, Gilgar. We got a Haunage. We got a Scatterbug coming in hot. Houndor, single strike, pulling that rock, getting that work done. Frillish, uh, looking very, very mean, actually. We got a Reverse Hollow Remoroid and a Stojourner. Stojourner. All right. One more pack for Michael O. One more pack for Michael O. Leo K knows the horse race, knows what it's all about. Ooh, Michael Burning Shadows, man. Oh, Mikey. Mikey, we got you. See, I told you. Come on now. Come on now. All right, guys. First horse race of the night. First horse race of the Pokey Seller live stream career. I'm about to end this man's whole career. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual horse race. Pokey Seller, we got a fighting energy coming in hot. We got a diddler. He's looking for something to do. We got a big fan. It's looking hot out there. We got a Cedra. He's looking like he's going to F you up. We got a Shinx, and he's rolling down the stairs. Hopefully he doesn't hurt himself. Houndor getting in that work, pulling that big, 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 big rock. We got a Ponyard. He is looking through that cave. I hope he brought a flashlight. 
Uh, we got a Q-Bone who looks like he's holding on that bone for dear life. We got a Remorod. He's swimming in the ocean. I really hope he's got a life raft. And we got a licky, 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 licky. Followed by. Followed by. Let's go real slow. Actually, we don't, you know what we're going to do? We're going to trick it. Oh, all right. So we got a V-Card, I think. We got a V-Card, maybe a V-Max. I don't know. I didn't really see. Didn't really see it. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we got a Flapple. We got a Flapple. Look at that. It's like he's spitting uh, Welch's grape juice out. Maybe didn't like it. Anyways, we got a Flapple. We'll sleeve that up for you, Mike. We will sleeve that up for you. That's a hit. That is a hit. And, um... Let's see what this attack is, actually. Wing attack, 120 for 3 energy. And 20 damage for one during your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon attacks cost two energies more. So, sounds like it could be usable. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But, anyways, Mikey GG's. I'll bag this up for you. I'll put your code cards in there. Hopefully no one uh, went and sniped the code cards that I just gave away. But, first one down, guys. First one down. Thank you, sir. Thanks for stopping by, San Diego. We'll send that out to you. All nice and secure on Monday. Because the post office is not open tomorrow. Otherwise, I can go for you. Next up, we got our boy, Roberto M. Roberto M., are you in the chat, my friend? LFGs. The Flapple is sick, dude. I actually like the Flapple. I pulled the VMAX last night. Kind of sick. Not going to lie. Kind of sick. Roberto M., are you here, my friend? Are you in the chat? I wish you had more time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get into it. Roberto M., you got your four packs here, my friend. All right. Let's get ahead, get into it. And I'm going to try to not give away your code. Yep. See? Green code card. Unfortunately, my friend, I wish I wish we get 36 whites for you guys right now. 36 white code cards. Um, Darkness Energy. We got a Spepia. Urn of Vitality. We got a Bufalance. Licky Licky Tongue. Yamper. Scatterbug. Valerian Mr. Mime. Spoink. Scroll of the Swirls. Interesting name. And a Claydol. Okay. All right. Next pack for Roberto M. Let's get that white code card. We getting that diesel, baby. Super hot fire. Green code card again. Man. That's what I was saying, man. I wish... But one of the best parts of Vivid is you pull a green and it's still... Uh, you can still get something good. With these, it's like, come on. Throw me a bone. Vivalon. Actually looking very majestic, not gonna lie. And this guy who is looking absolutely shredded. Looks like he's just gonna toss some fucking... I mean, excuse me there. He's gonna toss some rocks your way. Gotta watch my language there. Sorry about that. Wait me. Alright. Roberto M. Coming in hot. Let's go. Yeah, definitely that Rayquaza is my favorite one. For sure. Oof. Oof. Come on now. Come on now. We gotta manifest a white code card for you, my friend. Silly Cobra. Mean Fu. Cherubi. Prishuru. Spiro. He's hunting, house hunting. Uh, reverse hollow, Bruxish. Actually, that fish looks uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And a Bolton, one of my favorite Pokemon. Good boy dog right there. 
Good boy right there. We need a big manifest right here, guys. Come on now. Last pack for my friend Roberto M. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, see? Last one again, and I almost just, I think I just gave away your code card, my friend. I apologize. I owe you one code card. So are we getting into a, a horse race right now? I think it's about time. I think it's about time. No, I just got to get my bearings, right? <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second annual horse race. We're starting off with the leaf energy. We got a gizzle jumping off the building, looking like he's Batman. We got a crow bat, go bat, looking like he's hungry, hungry. We got a tool jammer, just in case your tools are jammed, 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 unjam them. Spiro, jumping off buildings, just like Batman. We got a Fromantis, going through the forest, looking for something to eat. Galarian Mr. Mime, he, I have no idea what he's doing. He's looking absolutely bananas. Uh, Baltoy, running through the forest, hope he doesn't trip. Uh, Manfew, leaning against a rock, uh, contemplating the bigger questions in life. Uh, uh, we got a, uh, we got a Cherimum, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say for this guy. He just looks surprised. He honestly just looks surprised. What do we got? Ooh. We got something. We got something coming up. What do we got? Ooh, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Let's go. That card's sick. Very sick. Let's sleeve that bad boy up. Let's sleeve it up. I really like this card. Try not to actually touch them. Not to touch the print. Oof. Man, I really love how there's a bunch of different um, Urshifus in this set. It's like, what is that, like six or eight of them? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's check out the, let's check out the move, right? You may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon for one energy. That's pretty cool. It's a basic. And it's got 220 HP. That's pretty good. Horse race in the chat. Let's go. Horse race in the scat. All right, my friend. We were able to pull one hit for you. Let's bag you up here. Let's get your code cards. Guys, I do apologize if I give away your code card. If I give away your code card, PM me. Join our Discord if you haven't. PM me there, Pokedon. And I will reimburse you with a code card of my own. And I promise you that. I promise you that. We're going to bag you up there, my friend. And that will be in the mail to you on Monday. Let's go. Let's go. Who's next? We got Matt R in the scat. Matt R in the scat. Can we get a couple horse races in the chat here, guys? Come on now. Because not only does a white code card means you're getting a hit, it means you're getting a horse race. That's big money. Normally I charge big money for that. But for you? Well, not really, because you bought the pack, but you know that. Matt R. Let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's go ahead. Green code card. Green. Green is quite mean. Luxio. Rapid single strike energy. Lever ball. Esper. Roly Coley. Sandlix. We get a corkfish. Corkfish. I can definitely read, guys. Don't worry. Clearing and Slowpoke. Mawile. I like that a lot. Also, guys, sorry if I'm going too slow. I I do like to stop and kind of look at these cards sometimes because this is a brand new set. Uh, Drampa looking very lazy. Looking like... Uh, this guy's looking like the only thing he does all day is step outside and look at the grass, and then he just goes back inside. Which, we're not here to judge. We're not here to judge. But you might want to step outside a little bit. Anyways, right back into it for Matt R. Let's go. Let's go. 
we got? Ooh, white cold card. Let's go. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Can I get a couple horse races in the chat, please? Thank you, Zeb Taylor. I appreciate that. Steve S., you get the horse emoji. Um, you have to uh, PayPal me $1,000. And I will, I will give you access to the horse emoji. I will give you access. You could also just copy and paste that horse emoji. To be honest with you, I don't know. Um, I didn't mean to be so sarcastic. It just kind of came out. Right? So it happens when we open Pokemon cards. We get a little crazy. We get a little crazy. Zeb Taylor, what's happening, my friend? I think I think I think it's time. I think it's time. All right, let's get into it. Let's pull some heat for our friend Matt R here. All right, second pack. Let's go. We got a Darkness Energy, Energy Recycler. We got a coming, uh, we got a uh, Grumping. He's looking like he's uh, painting in caves and uh, he's uh, he's dancing all night to a song, music by himself. We got a Crawdon. He's preparing for a big uh, duet at the school play. Uh, we got a Sizzlepeed. He's uh, he's looking like he's uh, staring at the trees. Uh, doesn't really know what to do. Spiro jumping to the roof like Batman. We got Onyx. He's really tired. He's on a long, 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 long day. Uh, Bellsprout looking in the forest. Not really know, uh, not really know what to do. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. He is absolutely insane and a fan of waves. What's coming up next? Wasn't my best horse race, all right? But oh, we got a full auto, full auto Lamello coming up? Okay. Matt R, what do we got? Ooh. Octillery. That card is actually super cool. 50 damage for 3 energy, though? I don't know. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one Rapid Strike search ability each turn. Doesn't seem too powerful, but it's a hit. It's a hit, my friend. We'll sleeve it up for you. We will sleeve it up for you, my friend. We will sleeve it up. Let's go. Let's get all of these ripped packs out of the way. We got two more packs for you, Matt R. Let's go ahead. And let's get in. Let's get into it. Come on now. Come on now. This edge is playing games with me. There we go. I never like to rip it too hard because I don't want to mess up the cards. I don't want them to go flying either. So you kind of have to like go a little bit, you know, green. You got to go a little. You can't go too hard, but you can't go too soft. Maybe just right. Just right. All right. Purple Energy, otherwise known as Psychic. We get a Bruno. Hill Score. Spequa. Oh, wow. Also, forgive any spelling mistakes. Please. Still learning. Corfish, Timber. I actually really like that card. Looks like he uh, works long hours. Rapid Strike style Mustard. Big fan of this card. Mustard is my favorite condiment. Best condiment, actually. Jill Scent. What is that? Like a, like a jellyfish? Or like a, some kind of bacteria that grows at the bottom of the ocean? Or is he... No, it's water type. Definitely at the bottom of the ocean, right? That's what we'd say? That's what I would say. That's what I would say. Last pack. Matt R. Let's get into it, my friend. Oh, white crow card. Doubling up on white crow cards for Matt R. Let's go. Mustard is great. Mustard is great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, dude, I am the horse. I am the horse. Dude. Yes. All right. Matt R. Another day at the races, my friend. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our third or fourth annual horse race. I'm kind of losing count. We got a Golbat. He is very hungry tonight. We got a Tool Jammer. We are followed by a Perjury jumping in the car. We are followed by a Slowpoke. He's laying on a rock all day long. Glamlo stuck in a tree, stuck in a tree, stuck in a tree. Sizzlepeed. He's still contemplating life. Onyx, very tired. 
We got a chummy cho and uh, she's flying, flying, flying. Galarian Slowbro sticking his hand on the shelf. Probably gonna get stuck there. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Cheryl! Welcome to the party, Cheryl! Oh my god, look at this beauty! That's going in a that's going in a top loader, my friend. Matt R. What a banger. What an absolute banger, my friend. Oh my god. We're gonna case this up for you. And then we're gonna look a little more closely at it. Cause I wanna make sure that if this card is worth a PSA 10, that we go ahead and we give it to you, my friend. Check this bull. Uh, check this girl out. Oof. Cheryl is looking good, right? Cheryl is looking good. Oof. I don't know how much Cheryl is. Uh, can we get a PC? $40 card. Matt R, let's go. I think you made out like a bandit. Look at this Cheryl right here. Man, let's check the... Check the EV centering. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to damage your card, Matt R. All right? But if we look from the front... Pull up a little closer here. I don't know. It's looking pretty good to me. Left to right. Looks decent. Top to bottom. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Like I said, I don't want to take it out and damage it. So Matt R, GG's, my friend. You just made your money back. And then some. Let's go. Onyx will always be one of my favorite all times in both video games and TCG. Onyx is very slept on, I will say. I've been rewatching the show. And, um... Onyx is very slept on, I would agree. I would agree. I mean, not too bad, right? You buy a couple packs and you make you make some money. Not too bad. Matt R, GG's, my friend. Nice pull. I actually really like that card. A lot. Very nice hit, dude. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. Oof. Get out, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's close this bag up. Let's close it up for Matt R. GG's, my friend. We will ship that out to you ASAP. Let's go. Waifu equals money. Waifus are money. Money cards. Matt R. I forgot your code cards. I'm not sure if you're a player. But I got your code cards right here. And I forgot to give them to you. So I'm going to just open your bag back up and toss them in there for you, my friend. My apologies. There you are. See it back up for you. And there you go. Matt R. Completed. All right. Let's get all these open packs out of the way. Toss them to the side. Like so. Where is he? Where is he? Chris C, we in the chat. Big Boppingtons, where we at? Oof. 35 on TCG, I'll take that. Cheryl is definitely a heavy hitter. You pulled a gold Eternatus... VMAX, a Charizard, and a Skyla in one ETB. That is actually insane. Oh, that was Robert S? Oh. Unless I'm behind in chat. Cheryl Baskin. Where are we at? All right. GG's, dude. Hold wow, I'm so pumped off that Cheryl, dude. I'm really pumped. Um, let's go. Boppy. Chris C. Let's pull you some heat, my friend. Let's go. This is your second Zard? Dude, you, I don't know. You might have some god tier RNG, my friend. Absolutely. I wouldn't sell it either. That's the whole experience. I wouldn't sell it either. Bobby, let's go. Straight into the gas. And I think 
I saw something in the back, guys. Gino, what's happening? So you get your names on the pack because we announced this a couple days ago, or maybe it was a week, um, in our Discord and everything like that. And we also shot out a couple newsletters. Um, and it only sold out. We're only doing one booster box this time, so that's why it sold out so quick. So these were all pre-purchased. Uh, but next time we do it, we'll have a lot more product and uh, a lot more. Um, you'll definitely be able to get some. But these are all already pre-purchased, unfortunately, my friend. But um, you stay tuned. Join our Discord, which I'm sure will be linked somewhere in the chat. Leo, okay, if you could toss that link down there. That would be amazing. Unless you're already in our Discord. In which case, you will hear about it. Boppies, let's get into it. Enough stalling. Let's get into it. Horse race. Horse race. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the horse race, followed by a doctor's energy. Pig Nate, he's not going anywhere. He's fat. He's very, very fat. We got a couple knives hanging out in the grass. We got a daughter. He's just chilling under his ray as, as, as umbrella. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Nobody knows what they're doing. Uh, we got a Fortimus falling through the forest. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Uh, okay, I'm going to start saying something different. We got a Galarian Slowpoke stuck in a rock. We got a Mankey. He's ready to fight. Single strike. Horsey, this card is fire. I love the art of this card. Back to the horse race. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon the interruption. Thanks for um, turning into the commercial break. Uh, we got a uh, Haunted. He's coming in hot. We got an escape rope. And I know we got something coming in hot here. We got... Saucy. Saucy. Corviknight VMAX. That card is hot. Hot. Very hot. Corviknight VMAX. Dude, these VMAX cards, they look so, some of them just look so cool. Like this card, this bird actually looks insane. Insanely awesome. Um, When are we going to get, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. When are we going to get a Moltres Zapdos Articuno VMAX? When is that going to come? Are we ever going to see it? Steve S says, eat the card. Um, well, I could. I would have to get uh, Chris Bopper's permission. Um, and then if I got the permission, I would probably not eat the card. So, there's that. Um, Corviknight VMAX. Very exciting. Let's put that in a top loader for Chris Bopper. Absolutely gorgeous Call the Night VMAX in its natural habitat. Was that the first pack? First pack, dude. Come on. Three more to go. Three more to go. Gas me, guys. <laughs> yes, dude. Alright. Oof. You hate to see a green. But it's only natural once in a while. Once you get some heat. Psychic, Prodont, Boofant, Scroll of the Swirls, Bronzar, Bell Sprout, Electabuzz, Gilgar, Onage. Oh my god, this card's sick. Also, there is a reverse hollow Entai in this set. Entai, super slept on. Actually, he's not really slept on. I just feel like he's the most slept on out of all the uh, legendary dogs. Entai is fire. And a Galarian Slowbro. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not great. Granted, not great. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. You could have got an ore beetle. You could have got an ore beetle. Right? Alright. Next pack. Gave away the code card. Sorry, Bobby. Please forgive me. Hopefully I don't, you know, we'll say, if I give away probably 10% of the code cards, I call it a success. Save 90%. We'll get there someday, right? Nobody's perfect. Urn of Vitality, Horsey, Murka, Bronzar, Bellsprout, Electabuzz, Lothalant, Marwa. Very cool card. He's looking menacing. Like he's going to get into no good. 
Can we get another white code card for my friend Chris Popper? No fumes allowed? Well, if we pull some heat right here, then I don't know what's going to happen, my friend, because uh, I'm not going to show that. I almost just showed the code card. Oh, we got a white and we got something. We got something. I really hope I didn't just mess up the code card. Nope, we're good. We got something. I don't know if you guys saw. But we got something coming in. I think. I think. And white code card, you know what it means. Fire energy. Starting off, walking to the horse rise. We got a Perugly, looking very ugly. We got a Durant. He's uh, hanging out in the cave. We got a Luxio. He's ready to slash those two souls. We got a Timber, probably one of my favorite Pokemon on set. He's building that house. He's a hard worker. I respect that. Esper, we don't really know what she's up to. Looking at that house very anonymously. I collect the buzz. Looking like he's ready for battle. We got a lick a lick a lick a lick a lick a tongue. He's going to lick 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 a lick a lick a tongue. We got a Cherubi. Uh, looks uh, very much like he could be at the top of Shirley Temple. We got a Phoebe. Looking like she's going to Wuha and Aloha in, a, in a Hawaii dancing. Um, okay. Now, down to business. What we got? Oh, okay. So. <laughs> it's an Orbeetle. Chris Bopper's favorite Pokemon. It's an Orbeetle. It's an Orbeetle. We're going to go ahead and sleeve it up for you, my friend. Guys, can we get Orbeetle in the chat right now, please? This is Chris Bopper's favorite Pokemon. This is Chris Bopper's favorite Pokemon, and that is confirmed. That is confirmed. Bopper, you know what we're going to do for you? Chris Bopper, you know what we're going to do for you? We're going to put it in a hard case, my friend. We are going to put it in a hard case. Because I know you are such an Orbeetle fan. And I want to take good care of your cards, my friend. So, I'll sleeve that Orbeetle up for you. Um, but we'll take a quick look at this Corviknight VMAX, getting getting into the more seriousness now. Um, I really, really like this card. I really, really like this card. I don't know how much it's worth. Probably not worth much. Probably maybe a couple bucks. But um, just one of those cards that uh, just hits a very aesthetically pleasing card, very ominous looking card. Oh my god. Your bag just went flying. Get that in there for you. There we go. Right. Get your code cards in there for you, my friend. All right, Chris Boppers. You are sealed up, ready to go, my friend. Let's go. All right. I got that reverse crew, Phoebe. All right. John L., you have not gone yet. Don't worry. You have not gone yet. We have not opened your packs. You have not been pulled yet. So, who do we got next? All right. Brittany M., you're up. Brittany M, are we in the scat? Brittany M. Are we in the scat? I wish you had more time. Let's go. Brittany M. Are we in here? Yeah, don't worry, Sean. You're good. No problem, my guy. Let's see Paul Allen's Orbeetle. Who has gotten the banger? Well, we had... Let me see here. Matt R. pulled some heat. He got the Cheryl. Pull our Cheryl. Looking very good. Chris Bopper got a VMAX Corviknight. So we still... I have a secret rare or two hiding in one of these packs. And it could be Brittany M's. Brittany M, are you here? Because we are going to go ahead and get into your packs. Brittany M, are you with us? 
Can you hear me? Brittany N. Looks like she got a Tyranitar and three Urshifus. Like I said, guys, I did pre-shuffle these packs. Um, so if you got three of the same artworks, like in this scenario right here, it's just the luck of the draw. I really, really shuffled them like a lot. So everyone has a fair chance. Yes, Leo, we still got some heat coming. Brittany M. Let's go. Brittany M. Hey, you could still we Sean, you could still get a rainbow Phoebe, my friend. Alright. You could still get a rainbow Phoebe. For the hottest waifu in the set right now, if I am not mistaken. Oh my goodness. Do blade, double blade. Do blade. I'll learn how to read one day. One day. Just very time consuming. Fan of waves. Erchislu to pig. Bronzar, Spoink, in Scat, Gilgar. Wow, I actually really like that. Oh, it's a reverse hall. I was wondering. I thought it was looking a little shiny. I like how that bird looks like it's uh, ready to go to work at an accounting firm in the 50s. Nice top hat. I mean, obviously, there weren't birds working in accounting firms. but. And I actually really like Slazzle as a Pokemon. I don't know why. It just looks really cool. So, first pack, green code card for Brittany N. Let's see if we can turn our luck around. Do I need the rainbow version when I have the light? Hmm. See, here's what I think of rainbows, right? First off, I enjoy the new rainbows. This may be controversial. Maybe controversial. I like the new rainbows better than the old ones. I think they're more vibrant. But I still prefer green code card the full art versions over the secret rare rainbow versions because i would prefer to see the color for instance lost thunder i think it's lost thunder has a rainbow rare lugia and a full art lugia i like the regular lugia way more because it's got its classic silver white and blue coloring the rainbow is still a really nice card don't get me wrong but something it's lost in translation that's just my opinion, right? But obviously, I mean, I think nine times out of ten, the rainbow is worth more. But um, anyways, I digest. Scatterbug, Houndor, Illish, Silly Cobra, Glamo, Morpeko. Okay, hold on. Is Morpeko, Morpeko is not usually that color. Am I correct? He's usually yellow. He's like an off-brand Pikachu. Kind of sus. And I, I like his lightning energy too. I don't know. Galarian, Mr. Ron. Okay. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I agree. Sean L., I agree. I absolutely agree. Um, Like the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the full art Charizard from Hidden Fates. Um, that art, that same artwork is in Burning Shadows. And it's in, I think, one other set that I'm forgetting. And I'm pretty sure that card came as a promo in the full like red and orange. And it's like so awesome. Hidden Fates still, I think, kicks it. Kicks its butt. But um, Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is I just like the, uh, the original colors. Ooh, Brittany. Brittany, Brittany. What do we got, Brittany? Brittany, are you going to pull our first secret rare of the night? Let's find out. Steel Energy, followed by a Pharaoh, looking at a rock calling for his friends. They're not there. They're not going to answer. We got a, uh, you got a Carvanine, and uh, I apologize for the way I'm uh, doing these cards because they're all brand new to me. Uh, we got a Phoebe. She's dancing in Hawaii. We got a Scatterbug. He's uh, looking off in the distance, um, trying to get a glam shot. Houndor putting in that work. He's going to look swole by the end of the night. Frillish, looking like she's casting a spell underwater. We got a Silly Cobra, whose friend just told him a very mean joke about his mother, and he doesn't like that at all. We got a Glamlo, uh, looking like she's uh, looking at the town from Fable 2. Um, we got a Kingdra. Fire card. Fire card. Love Kingdra. What do we got? Ooh, looking like we got a hollow coming in hot. We got 
a Steelix, which is basically a steel version. I was going to say it's a steel version of Onyx, and it evolves from Onyx. I didn't know that. There you go. I really didn't know that. Okay, hold on. This move costs five energies? I mean, it does 200 damage, but like, anyways, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad, Brittany. I kind of like Steelix. I didn't used to like Steelix, but now that I know that it evolves from, uh, from Onyx, throw it on me a little bit. Throw it on me a little bit. Right? Last pack, Brittany M. Oof, green. Brittany M, you hate to see it. You do hate to see it. Yeah. That's a Jared. That is a Jared. Durant. Bully Coley. Lipbug. Frillish. Cubone. Zubat. Thank you. And Age Slash. All right, Brittany. We managed to get you one white code card. Um, I wish it could have been more. Like I said, I wish I could, I wish I could pull just like an air box or something and just get like a box full of hitters. It'd probably be pretty cool. It would be more cool if I could do it for other people rather than myself. Because if I did it myself, no one would believe me because it would just be me opening packs. But if I did it for you guys, it would be video evidence. And then we make history. And we make history. Almost. Forgot your code cards again. Man, I'm struggling. I am uh, sitting in the front seat of uh, what they call the, uh, the struggle bus. I'm also driving the bus, and I'm also sitting in the front seat. How does that work? I don't know. I don't make up the rules. I don't make up the rules. Yeah. Jared Dudley is working overtime. He is working overtime right now, Wave. I know. Thank you. I like this playmat a lot. It's uh, Hidden Fates, obviously. My favorite modern set. Hands down. This is the set I first started collecting. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm just going right into it. Alyssa X. Are you in here? Are you here? Alyssa X. Are we in the scat? Are we in the scat? Are we in the scat? Haircut looks clean. Thanks, except I haven't really got it cut, but I appreciate it. Yeah, someone's about to get some heat. Someone's about to get some heat. And could it be Alyssa S with one pack? She playing 5D chess. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Alyssa S, I hope you're in here. If not, you can watch the rerun. We are going to... Oof, Alyssa S. One pack and gets a white code card. Let's go. Let's go, Alyssa S. Oof, let's go. Tiny top hats, let's get into it. White code card, you know what it means. Horse race. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Horse Race, patented by Pokeseller. We are starting off. We are starting off with the lightning energy. We got a Gerdo who looks like he's lifting a house, giving Soup Matter run for his money. Energy Recycler, that looks like it'd be a good guard in the TCG. We got this guy, looks like it was painted by Vincent Van Gogh, before he cut his ear off, that is. We got a Remy Gold shooting, uh, looks like, a, looks like a couple sticks and a rock, uh... In the water, okay, whatever that is. We got a Fromantis looking like uh, she's casting a spell in the forest. We got a Mowile looking like uh, he's part of Attack on Titan. We got a Mankey looking like he's ready to strike. Single strike, that is. Horsey, don't sleep on this Pokemon. Cor... Okay. Conk... Conkledur. Really? Conkledur? Anyways. I, I don't know. What do we got? What do we got? Hollow Rare? 
Paul Renner. A Sandaconda. Not too bad. Alyssa, I thought that was going to be it. Alyssa S. I thought you were going to get a secret rare. I really did. I was like, buy one pack. And... You get a white code card. Maybe next time. I wish. I wish I could have pulled some heat for you. But anyways, Alyssa S. Sending your white code card with you. With your, uh, with your hit, I guess. I guess you could call that a hit. The thing is, you can't just look at... It's so hard to, like, look at these objectively, especially when, you know, you have, like, TCG player that's pumping just value in your face. Um, you gotta look at what the card just, like, means to you as a piece of art first and foremost. So, um, if you are a Santa Conda fan, then I'm glad I could pull this for you. Um, obviously, there's a lot cooler cards in the set than this. But I digress. Alyssa, collect with your heart, not with your wallet. That's all I have to say about that. Alyssa S, coming out to you Monday. You will get tracking. Let's go. Who we got next? Jeffrey N in the building. Jeffrey N in the building. If you could rip my energy cards in half on the whites for good luck, I'd appreciate it. Steve S, let's see what we can do. See what we can do. See what we can do for us. Yeah. Also, give away an Orbeetle. Anyone want it? I don't think so. I don't want it either. All right, Jeffrey N. Are we in the building? Are we here? Sean L, I mean, you're not wrong, right? I just feel like first and foremost, you gotta collect it like it's, you know, it means, it's gotta mean something to you. Otherwise, you might as well just go invest in stocks, right? Or something. I mean, like, save or save your money. I would say put it in a money market account or anything like that, but rates are in the toilet right now. So, that wouldn't do you any good either. Three packs for Jeffrey N. Three packs. Let's go. We got two Urshifu single strikes. And I don't know if this is Urshifu. I don't think it is. But we got this guy. We're going to go like this. We're going to sandwich it. We're going to start with the first piece of bread. We're going to do the meat and cheese. Then we're going to do the next piece of bread. You know what I'm saying? All right. Jeffrey N. Jeffrey N. Jeffrey N. We got something cooking. We got something cooking. Gotta prepare this horse race. <laughs> okay. Jeffrey N. We got some heat in the back for you, my friend. Let's go ahead and get into it without further ado. There's the element wagging around that is another horse race. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We got a green energy. Vincent Van Gogh painting. We get a pharaoh looking like he's standing on a rock waiting for some friends. We get a coven air looking like he's stuck in a hurricane. Bronze air, not really sure what he's up to. Bell sprout in the forest. Lost looking for your mother. Electabuzz preparing for battle. Uh, we got a Gilligar flying in the sky. Very, very high, high, high. We got a Haunage. Looks like it's a soul stuck in the ground. King Arthur shouts out to him. We got a Cacturn who is, looks like he's just trying to get up after uh, laying on the beach for too long. And followed by... Let's go, Jeffrey N. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jeffrey N. Eat. Eat. I'm stoked. Dude, I've been wanting to pull this card, and I haven't. I opened two booster boxes myself, and I haven't pulled it. Dude, this card. This card's over $100, by the way. This card... Is over a hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure this is the second or third rarest card in the set. Is that the top hit? Is that confirmed, dude? I'm so stoked that we pulled this for someone, dude. This card is so 
sick. Its attack does 270 damage. Discard all energy from the Pokemon. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's dead. I'm rattled. Jeffrey N., you're actually a god. You're actually a god. Jeffrey N. Oh my god. We still have two more packs, dude. Oh my god. Jeffrey N. You're a rock star, my friend. I salute you. I salute you. I salute you. That's all I can say. I'm astounded. I'm so stoked right now that we pulled this for you. I am so stoked. We're going to put it right up here. I just want to look at it. This is the card. I think this is the best card in the set. For me, personally, this is the best card in the set in terms of like how I feel about it. This is the best card in the set. That's it. Best card in the set. We just pulled it for you. It might be the one, your favorite card in the set. And if, if so, I apologize. It's a very cool card. It's a very cool card. And I'm so stoked I got to pull it for you, my friend. Jeffrey N. Wow. Man, is it hot in here? Or is it just you, Jeffrey N? Green code card. That's all right. We got to cool that. We got to cool down after all that heat. About to burn the house down. Fighting energy. Brush it. Scroll the scorn. Let's get into it. Grump pig. Q bone. My bone. Scatterbug. Corefish. Lamlo, Yamper, Scatterbug, Mian Xiao. Dude. I can't. Um, I, I gotta get my bearings back after that poll. I got to get my bearings back. Because that was insane. I'm still rattled. I gotta show one more time. Jeffrey N. Single Strike, Urshifu, VMAX, Alternate Art. Ah, like my throat is sore from screaming right there. Last pack for Jeffrey N. Can we pull another White Coat card? Can you imagine? Can you actually imagine? Not going to give it away. Green Coat card, okay. Well, Jeffrey N. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is so sick. I hope you send that card in and you get PSA 10, BGS, Black Label, CGC 10, wherever you're going to send it. Hope you get a 10. Or if you're going to put it in your binder, whatever you do with it, I hope you enjoy it, my friend. You earned it. You're an absolute legend. You're a rock star. Can we get, what is that? Poor Buffa Tyranitar is not a beast card. I know. I wish that card had, I wish that card had a, um, I wish we had a Tyranitar VMAX, but I do like the alternate art Tyranitar very much in this set. Um, sorry, I'm still a little scatterbrained after that pull. Let's bag it up for him. I want to make sure it stays nice and secure. Jeffrey N. I'm going to keep telling you how cool you are, Jeffrey N. Because you pulled an amazing card, dude. G, G's, Jeffrey N. Let's go. Let's seal that up. Now, guys, you will receive tracking when you ship Jeffrey N. So if you're like me, when you buy a product, you check the tracking every five minutes, you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> All right. Now, I gotta take a quick sip because I am, I think I'm dehydrated after that. I think I'm dehydrated. All right. We're back into it. We're back at it. Marquise S. I really hope I said your name right. Marquise or Marquis. I hope I said your name right. 
Anyways, you're up next, my friend. Are you in the chat? Are you in the chat? I'd like to give you a minute to make sure I don't pull your card without you being here. Give you a minute or two here to jump in. Are you in the chat, my friend? All right, we're just gonna get started slow. <laughs> They're already all opened, my dude. They're already all opened. I just love them for display. I just love them for display. I wish I, I, I wish I could keep them sealed. I can keep a few things sealed if I really want to. Um, but besides that, I crack it. I crack it. All right, Marquise S., let's go. Four packs, my friend. Let's go. We can co-card, unfortunately, my friend. Sorry, we got a couple more packs for you. Obi. Wrapped the track. Cheryl. Cheryl came in big for us earlier. Zubat. Lickitung. Yamper. Mankey. And a Primate. How fortuitous. Next pack. What did I pull out of them, honestly? So, one of my... I'll keep going here while I talk. I don't want to... You guys waiting. Um... Out of the Hidden Fates, really nothing that good, to be honest with you. I have terrible, terrible luck with Hidden Fates. Um, I just had to end up buying the Charizard because I guess I was never going to pull it. Um, still my favorite set. The best card I've ever pulled, I think, was... I pulled two Charmanders, a Charmeleon. I have four Greninjas. I have three Glaceons, three or four Glaceons. Um, I had to buy the ho -Oh because I never pulled the ho -Oh. ho -Oh is one of my top five favorite Pokemon, so I bought that single because I had to have the ho -Oh. Gotta have the ho -Oh. I really don't know why there wasn't a Lugia in that set, to be honest. I feel like a shiny full art Lugia would have been looked amazing. Um, but anyways, I don't know. Did I already? I did already do the trick. I'm losing it. Losing my mind. Love ball. Girder. Slowpoke. Lamo. Slazipede, Onyx, Chimichio, Yamper, and Lunatus. Oh crap. But, no, not even a Cynthia. But I did pull, I don't know if this was an error, we did manage to get what I'm pretty sure, actually 100% sure, was a, was a God Box. They don't have God Packs in English. But I pulled... I had an ETB where every single pack had a shiny in it, and I just showed the co car. I'm so sorry. DM me. I'll supply you with a new one if someone steals it. Or case ass. I'm sorry. But it's white co card, so you might still get a hit out of it. Um, yeah, I just sent uh, one of my Greninjas into CGC to get graded, so we'll see what happens with it. Um, the other three are like, okay. But um, yeah, pulled uh, in all my shiny fates, I did end up pulling two Suicunes, which is I'm super happy about. Uh, okay, let's go. We got a Durant, not Kevin Durant, not Kevin Durant, just Durant. We got a Luxio looking like he's ready to slash that electric sword. Single strike energy might come in handy in the game. Slazapi, we've seen that card a lot of times. So now kind of running out of things to say, to say, say about it. Uh, we got a Mankey, single strike, uh, looking like he's ready for a fight. We got a Ponyard exploring the cave from Lord of the Rings. We got a Billabug, he looks like he's about to climb that tree. Shinx climbing down the, uh, climbing down the, uh, side of... Anyways, Tower of the Waters looking, uh, pretty majestic. And Marquise S., what do we got coming in for you right now? Embor, single strike. Card is actually really cool, right? I think any card with a single or rapid strike on it is awesome. We're going to sleeve it for you, my friend. We're going to sleeve it for you, my friend. I like that card. I pulled it. I pulled it the other night. I do like it. GG's. We got one more pack though, so it's not GG's yet. 
We got one more pack for you, my friend. Let's go. Can we pull another white code card? Oh. Yikes. Marquise S. Sorry, man. Earn Vitality. Boothland. Bruxfish. Menfield. Bellsprout. Sandlot. Murkwow. Yamper. I can definitely spell. Kerko. And a Marwa. So, we got uh, we got one hit for you, my friend. That is a sick hollow, Sean. Out. I agree. That is a sick hollow. I think a lot of the hollows are um, underrated just because they're overshadowed by the the full art cards now you know they don't uh they don't get enough respect that's why i really like uh you know i really like the baby shinies from hidden fates and uh shining fates has a couple cool ones shining fates to be honest with you i'm uh i'm i've opened up so much of it and i feel like i just opened up so much shiny star v that my hype for the set is not as high as Hidden Fates. Like, I'd still love to open up Hidden Fates. Probably because also, too, because there's a lot of Kanto Pokemon in there, right? Um, but Shiny Star... Or, um, I'm sorry, not Shiny Star V. Shiny Fates... I'm, I'm having way more fun opening battles than Shiny Fates, to be honest with you. Um, especially, like, looking at the values of the Shiny Fates cards, I feel like they're all over the place. Like, they're so low right now. Like, all the cards are dropping like crazy. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, like, high pull rates or, like, everyone's buying it. I mean, I'm assuming it's both of those. Uh, maybe I don't know. Never pulled a Charizard, though. so we'll see. Marquis asks, "GGs, bag you up, my friend." All right. Shining Legends is a amazing set. I've only ever opened it once, but I did get the Rayquaza. Also, my ETB was missing the Hoa. Basically, the whole reason I got the box was for the hoa. Very disappointing. Sean out. Couldn't agree more, my friend. Couldn't agree more. So that's kind of meh for me right now. Steve S, are you in the scat, my friend? One, two, three, four. Are you in the scat, my friend? I know he was here earlier. Now, can can someone confirm for me? Does do the um, is that Vmax alternate art considered a secret rare, or we still do a secret rare? Anyone? Does anyone know? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Let me know. Because Steve S, you might have a secret rare coming your way, my friend. Starting off with a licky licky. Starting off with a licky licky. Let's go. Oh, showed your code card. White code card, too. I don't know if you saw it. Rip your energies. Say no less. Ripped. Ripped. I don't even know how I'm going to pronounce these names, guys. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Sword. Swordward and Shailbert. Followed by Corbin, trapped in a storm. We got a uh, Bruxish, who looks like she's trapped in uh, Atlantis. Licky, licky, licky tongue. Looks like he's going to get his, his, uh, <laughs> his tongue stuck to the ice. We got a Houndor, who's pulling off that uh, pulling that rock, getting swole. We got a uh, Sad Cobra, who's looking very, very sad, contemplating the sad things in life. Um, he needs to get some help. Uh, we got a Bellaplug, who looks like he's going to climb that tree. Esper, who's looking like uh, very menacing. And we got another set of the twins. Thank you, Chanel. I just saw that. I appreciate that. Do we have a secret rare here for Steve S? Do we have a secret rare? No. Crobat! Not too bad. So no secret rare. 
John, I am going to send him the remains. I am going to send him the remains. Not only am I going to send him the remains, I'm going to sleeve these for him. I'm going to sleeve up his energy, his ripped energies. For you, Steve. I got you. Stay no left, I got you. Steve, we got a crowbat. Do we have a secret rare coming? Do we? I think there's one in, I think there's at least one in every booster box. I could be wrong. Steve S. Steve S. What do we got going on right now? <clears throat> We're going to take this one nice and slow. Scroll to scoring. That is a very good sign. Secret rare incoming. I'm calling it. Rum pig. Biro. Taking a break from the horse race. Because we're going to manifest a secret rare. Right now. Timber. Pawnyard. Thank you. Jinx. Bruno. Secret rare. Empoleon V. Not the alternative art. Still a good card. Looks like the secret rare is still eluding. But anything with a rapid strike on it or a single strike on it, like I was saying, is, is super cool. Super cool. Steve, two more packs to go. Do we have some more heat incoming? For Steve S. Let's see. Let's find out. These packs are opening so easily, they're just like falling apart. Not going to show that code. Oh my god! Oh my god! Actually, what is happening right now? Steve S, three white code cards. Are you hacking? $18 card? Hold on. Hold on. Steve. Can I get it done? Yes. Steve. We got a hard case and $18 card. Come on now. Come on now. We don't play that. We don't play those games around here. Anyways. That's enough of Steve's old heat. Let's get back into Steve's new heat. Is he using an aimbot? Find out next week. On Steve Hacking Packs. Electric Energy. We got a canton. We got a god or lifting a car. Electric Recycle. We got a Roly Coley hiding in a cave, hiding from his friends. He doesn't want to go play. He wants to stay inside and play video games. We got a Bill Plug looking like he's ready to climb that tree. Full of fish swimming in the ocean. Q Bone saying, My bone, my bone, my bone. Zubat looking like he's going to um, make you really confused in a cave. We got a Gilligar who's flying high in the sky looking like he should normally fly, but he is right now. And the Flapple Demon. The ever elusive. This card's actually like five dollars. This card's actually like five dollars. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that falafel. It's absolutely stunning. The good good max. Steve S. One more pack. Are you going to go four white code cards? Are you going to do it? Can it be done? These packs, man, they're just falling apart. I like it to an extent, but it's like... Oh, Steve. We ended on a green for you. Sorry, my dude. Flapple has some good moves. This attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. 250 damage. I mean, that's not bad. 320 HP. It's pretty good. All right. Fire Energy. Obi. Indeedy. Ill Score. Scatterbug. Valerian Mr. Mime, 
point. Mobile. Thank you. Center Schwartz Reverse Hollow. That card's actually fire. I'm going to sleeve that up for you, Steve. Uh, and a Lorantis. I'm going to sleeve that Center Scorch up for you. I like Center Scorch. And it is a Reverse Hollow Rare. Um, so, Steve. Steve S. Three white code cards, man. Let's go through your hits real quick. Once I organize your pile. We have the Flapple. Very vibrant card. Followed by the Reverse Hollow Skin of Scorch. Set, set, set of Scorch. Probat. And the Empoleon V, the sleeper hitter. That I just walked right past. So, GG, Steve. GG's. LFG's. Let's go. Steve X. Killing it. Three white code cards. I think that's the best ratio we've had all night. That is the best ratio we've had all night. Let's sleeve these or bag them, I should say. Or Steve S. Put your code cards in there, my friend. Bag it up. Let's go. Yeah, Steve, nice pulse. Usually, I was thinking it'd be Alaska cold, but it was uh, Arizona warm, Arizona hot. All right, Sean L. With the last opening of the night. Like I said, I wish we had more to open, but we only have one booster box open. Everything else is sold, unfortunately. Um, we got something, Sean L. I think we got something coming for you, my friend. Four packs. Last four packs, and we have not seen a secret rare. Correct me if I'm wrong. Have we not seen a secret rare? I don't think we have. I'm 98% sure we have not seen a secret rare yet. Can we get a confirmation? In the chat for that secret rip for Sean Allen. Four packs. Boston says it's guaranteed. That's all I need to hear. A guarantee from Boston. That's all I need. Sean L. We're going to get right into it, my friend. Good luck. All right. That's cool. We're just weeding out the, uh, weeding out the twash. All good. No secret wear? All right, Sean L., I think you're in for it, my friend. I think you're in for it. Like I said, I'm like 90% sure that there's a guaranteed secret rare in every box. Every time I open a, a booster box, I always get at least one secret rare. I feel like it's 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 definitely... Um, maybe it's just averages. Maybe it just works out that way. Um, Tiny Top Hats, of course, will be doing Chilling Rain. I'm so excited for that set. We'll be doing box breaks. I'm sure I'll be doing videos of me opening it because I'm sure I'll be opening it nonstop. It's looking like a fun set. Sean L. Let's go, my friend. These like edges, man. These edges of the of the pack. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna trick it. We're gonna go like that. Oh, green code card. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Or we're just weeding out the trash. That secret rare for you, my friend. The tension is rising, right? It's like, uh, well, what's that show? What's that show when you uh, you open the cases? Deal or no deal, right? We're just getting rid of the trash cases right now for you. We're getting rid of the trash for you. Level ball, level ball, King Queen, Sphero, Forantis, Kylie and Mr. Mine, Altoy, Mindfu, Luxray, and a Phalanx. Dude, I'm getting. What are we pulling for Sean right now? What are we pulling for Sean right now? I'm getting nervous and excited. 
Sean. What's gonna happen, Sean? Is this it? Last pack. Last pack is gonna be a white. Last pack is gonna be a white gold card. Oh man. Oh man. The tension is brewing. The tension is brewing. Nikitang, Darby, Horsey, Mark Rowe, Walmantis, and a drink. Rainbow Urshifu, Steve is saying. Rainbow Urshifu. Guys. We're about to get some heat. We're about to get some heat. Oh, man. The million dollar case. Last pack magic, baby. Come on now. No secret rare. Very careful. We knew it was happening, right? We knew it was happening. Come on now. We knew it was happening. Let's take a quick check on that centering for the last card. Looking good, my guy. Looking real good. For your secret rare. Nah, for no fourth green, Sean. Come on now. We got you. Here in the Poke Cellar, we take care of our customers and supply them secret rares whenever we can. But we also knew, right? Because we didn't get one in the box. Playing averages, all that jazz. All right. We're going to build a little suspense here, guys. Do we want a horse race? Last pack of the night, do we want a horse race? Do we want a horse race? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. What are we thinking? Last race of the night, Steve S says. I think we got to do it. I think we got to do it. <laughs> Get those pipes ready. We got a double blade in the forest. We got a Morpeko looking like a demon version of the actual Morpeko. We got a Colonel Mustard. Did it in the building with the building and the knife. What? Mindfoo, we're chopping that wood. Bellsprout, still don't know what to say about him. That's a plant. Uh, Saladant, who actually really liked that artwork, looks like a claymation. Uh, we got a Muckrow, looking like he's looking up at the sky, looking for a bigger purpose in life. We got a Yamper, who's looking very, very cute, gotta say. We got a Primate, and first in the horse race, the last horse race of the night, is... A Cricketune V. So I'm wondering, Sean L, because I thought you were pretty much guaranteed a secret rare, that that Urshifu was our secret rare. Because I feel like I always see a secret rare in a booster box. And the best hitter we got tonight was that Urshifu. So... I don't know. I mean, is this a fire hit? I don't know about this. Is this something? Is this like an alternate art? Man, I'm so... Yeah. Dude, I'm so bummed. I thought we had it. So I guess the alternate arts count as secret rares? Question mark? Man, you hate to see it. I was like, I was so sure that we had a secret rare incoming for you, my dude. I was so sure. Sean L. Ugh. Sean L. Next time. Sean L. It's now my mission in life to pull you a secret rare, my friend. All right? So next time we do a break, I'm pulling you a secret rare. Or I should say, I will pull you a secret rare one of these breaks. Maybe not next time. But mark my words, 
It's going to happen. And when it happens, you'll think back on this very live stream. And it'll be like, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it. Next time. Next time. GG's, guys. That was the last pack, guys. And this was a blast. This really was a blast. Um, GG's, guys. Thanks to everyone for stopping by. I mean, I'm, I had a great time. Sean, you didn't let anyone down, dude. If anything, I let you down. Because here I am saying I'm going to pull you a secret rare. And I didn't. I feel bad, personally. But, like I said, next time, I'm pulling you a secret rare, dude. Or one of these times, I should say. Because if I don't pull it next time, then I'll be in trouble. I don't want to be in trouble. Anyways, guys. Oh, Pokewave said that is the secret. So, I wasn't paying attention to the chat. Thank you. GG's, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to check out PokeSeller on Discord. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're all over the place. Check us out. We got more stuff incoming. A lot more stuff incoming. We got some more content coming out. Make sure to stay tuned. All of announcements. Usually they come first on Discord. And sign up for email notifications as well. Get it that way. But man. That Urshifu though. Right? That Urshifu was fire. That Urshifu was fire. Check out the link for the Discord. In the chat. Leo K just sent it in. Yeah, it did have a waifu, Sean. It did have a waifu. It did pull a waifu tonight. The Cheryl, I believe, was it. And then the Urshifu VMAX. Um, yeah, man. That Urshifu was fire. We'll take that, right? We will absolutely take that. Well, any guys, anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for stopping by. GG's. Until next time. I salute you, Cellar Dwellers. And we out.